short chain, um, short chain, medium chain triglycerides. Well, the same thing applies to carbohydrates. You have a short chain, medium chain, and long chain. The longer the chain, the better. So for instance, if we have a short chain uh, carbohydrate, to me that was something that has, it's not, it won't spike the insulin as much for your sugar. So say for instance, I guess probably like a, I say like northern fruit. Northern fruit is things that have a pit in it, like an apple, a pear, right? And again, when I talk about carbohydrates spiking insulin, everybody's gonna be a little different, just to be clear, because I don't wanna make sure that there's like a, a, a clear a blanket slate that you know it applies to everyone the same way. It does not. I can eat an apple and nothing happened. You can eat an apple and you know your your blood sugar goes through the roof. But a higher, basically a shorter chain, would be like jelly or something like that, or jam or even just table sugar. That's a short chain. That means it goes through your system really quick. So you want to stay away from the short chain. Uh, sugars and carbohydrates and more of a long chain. Longer chain would be, let's say, what would be a long chain? Um, probably longer chain would definitely be probably the northern fruit or something like that, or even, um, which most people don't know too much about, it's more of an Asian fruit, which is a uh, jackfruit. That would be more of a long chain um, fruit. So those would be different between long chain and short chain. Check it out. Um, you can go, you basically check it out and correct me if I'm wrong on it, that's fine too. But that is the difference between 